I am Katha Vachak and welcome to the realm of Katha. Whenever we try to think about our happiest days, a thought straight away goes to our childhood. The best way to relive our childhood is through the stories that our grandparents used to tell us. So today, let us take you back to those nostalgic moments through today's Katha. So this Katha is about a monkey who used to live on a giant plum tree beside a huge lake. Every day he used to feast on the plums and jump up and down the tree. The only thing missing from his life was a true friend. One day, a crocodile came out of the lake and started relaxing under the shade of plum tree. Seeing him, the monkey got really excited and decided to speak to the crocodile. They started a conversation which went for hours, by the end of which they became very good friends. And hence started the tale of a beautiful friendship where every day the crocodile would visit the monkey and they would share great stories over sweet plums. One day, the crocodile asked the monkey to drop a few extra plums so that he could take them home and share them with his wife as well. The monkey happily obliged and bagged loads of extra plums for crocodile's wife. Once he reached home, the crocodile narrated the story of his friendship with monkey to his wife and offered her the plums. As soon as she tasted the plums, an idea came across her mind. She said to her husband, Dear, such sweet these plums are. Imagine how delicious would the heart of that monkey be who eats them every day. Then she told him her plan. At first, the crocodile got upset. But then on the repeated insistence by his wife, he agreed. So next day, when the crocodile visited the monkey, he said to him, Buddy, my wife really loved the plums and she really wants to meet you. Why don't you come along with me and visit my humble abode? The monkey got really elated and happily agreed. But then the monkey had a doubt and he asked the crocodile, Dear friend, I really don't know how to swim. How would I cross the river? And the crocodile replied, Hey buddy, don't you worry about that. Just hop on my back and I'll take you across the river myself. The monkey got relaxed and he jumped on the back of crocodile and they started their journey through the lake. When the duo reached the deepest point of the lake, the crocodile started diving slowly. The monkey panicked. What are you doing, my friend? I will drown this way. I don't know how to swim. And then the crocodile viciously said, That was the plan, my friend. My wife wants to taste your delicious heart. And for that, you will have to die. At this hour of peril, the monkey remained calm and said to the crocodile, Oh, my friend, you should have told me that before. I actually keep my heart safe on the plum tree. Now we'll have to go back so that I can bring my heart along with me. The crocodile thought for a bit and then turned around. As soon as they reached the shore, the monkey took a giant leap and immediately climbed the topmost branch of the tree and started laughing loudly. Puzzled, the crocodile asked the monkey for the reason of laughing and the monkey replied, Oh dear friend, how can someone be so stupid to think that one can take their heart out of their body and keep it on a tree? You are an idiot and I don't need a backstabbing friend like you. So go back to home and tell your wife that you are the biggest idiot in the whole wide world. And so the crocodile returned home with a long face and empty hands. We get two important learnings from this Katha. One is that we should always be loyal to our friends. And second, that even in the face of hardships, we should remain calm and act logically. So this was today's Katha. Now if we are trying to relive our childhood, one story is never enough. So let's break our pattern and listen to one more Katha. This Katha is from a dangerous forest where lived a furious lion. Every day, that lion would go on a rampage, killing innocent animals right, left, center. The animals were living in a fear, and one day, they got fed up with this carnage and held a meeting. In the meeting, turn by turn, all the animals tried to find a solution to stop this carnage, but none was good enough. Then came the turn of a small rabbit. The rabbit thought for a while, and then came up with a suggestion. The rabbit said to all the animals, See, we can't stop the lion by force. What we can do is we can go to him and request him 
that one of us will voluntarily visit him every day as his meal and in return the land would promise not to kill any other animal throughout that day this will at least stop the unnecessary spilling of blood everyone agreed to the rabbit's plan and all went to the lion's den together as soon as they put forth their request the lion got really angry who do you think i am some lazy bum i don't need your help to hunt my prey get lost from here then the rabbit came forward and said to the lion oh my great king everyone knows that you are the mightiest of all but dear sir please think for the future once you grow old it will be difficult for you to hunt your prey but if you sign today's deal even then one animal will be coming to you as your meal every day this will save your energy and unnecessary effort the lion thought about this for a while and it seemed to make sense to him so he agreed to sign the deal so from that day onwards every day one volunteer started going to the lion's den and the lion would happily gorge on his prey then one day came the turn of the little rabbit slowly the rabbit started towards the lion's den thinking about a way out throughout the way deliberately he reached the lion's den a little late by that time the lion was furious the lion shouted at the rabbit how dare you come late do you know the consequences of keeping me waiting come here you fool tell me why you are late the rabbit started shivering and timidly replied to the lion oh my great king please forgive me i started from my home on time but what can i do a ferocious lion stalked me on my way when i told him about you he ordered me to give you a message he said tell that fake lion to get out of this jungle immediately i will now rule this kingdom what could i do sir hearing about the rabbit's ordeal the lion's tempers flared and he ordered the rabbit to take him to the other lion the rabbit led the lion to a well and meekly said oh dear king this is the den of that other lion i am too scared to even look please sir i request you please get rid of him the lion leapt on the wall of the well and peered inside and saw another lion glaring back at him infuriated the king shouted who is there the lion from the well replied who is there the king replied i am the king of this jungle the lion from the well replied i am the king of this jungle deranged out of anger the king warned get lost from here i'll kill you prompt came the reply get lost from here i'll kill you without a second thought the king pounced on the other lion and jumped into the well alas as soon as he jumped in the well the king realized that it was no other lion but his own reflection and the echo of his own voice desperate he thrashed his arms around to get out of the well but it was too late the mighty king of the jungle drowned in the well jumping with joy the rabbit ran towards his friends to tell them the good news and everyone in the jungle lived happily ever after we get two important learnings from this katha one that we should not give in to the anger and second that we should remain calm even in the face of adversities so these were today's kathas until next time